Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Welcome back to Jim O'Rear's Wacky World. Now, regular viewers of my channel probably remember that, uh, gosh, a couple years ago, I did a video review of the Ford's Garage restaurant chain and kind of, you know, what the atmosphere was like, what, what the food was like and stuff like that. And, and we enjoyed it. We, we liked the atmosphere. We liked the food. We liked the service. And uh, we said we'd go back again. Well, we finally had a chance to go back. And when we did, we noticed that they had a sign up that they have a new service model that they're working under where they charge you more for this service model. And reading through it, we went, no, we're not going to be a part of that. So we left. We thought about it for a while. And then, you know, a couple months later, we went, you know what, let's go try it, see how this new service model works and, uh, and just see if it's an improvement or not. And spoiler alert, it is not an improvement at all. <laughs> so basically what this is, is they are testing a new service model in, uh, in certain locations. It's not everywhere. So you have to check your local Ford's garage to see if yours is doing it or not. But basically what they're doing is uh, they think to improve the quality and service and all that, they are going to add an additional 20% to your bill at checkout. And they say what this does is that it helps them improve, uh, improve the service. It allows um, them to hire more staff and use more people so that their bartenders and servers and things like that do not have to leave the floor at all. They're always on the floor and available to help you. And um, none of this 20%, however, goes to the servers or bartenders. They don't get a cut of that at all. What the restaurant is doing is they're paying the servers a commission instead. So whatever you buy, regardless of what you buy, they're going to get a commission on what you buy. And if you want to give a tip too, that's great. Now what they, they say or claim is that this improves the service all around but it does not so this time when we went to Ford's garage we were greeted right away when we sat down by a server to get our order and uh, we ordered drinks and an appetizer there were maybe only two other tables of, of people in the restaurant when we got there so it wasn't like they were they were crowded um, it took a little bit to get the drinks a little bit of time to get the drinks but when we ordered the appetizers, it took so long to get the appetizer that they could have cooked the entire meal by that time. And not once during that time did we see the server to give us an update on what was going on with the order. Yet this model says that the servers are supposed to stay on the floor at all times. Now maybe it was just because of the way our booth or whatever was angled and we didn't see them and they stayed behind us all the time. I don't know, but we didn't see them. What this model is actually doing is it's not improving the service. What it's doing is it's telling the servers that you're going to get paid, which is going to be the equivalent of what they estimate is around $20 an hour, according to their, their service model uh, before tip. So the servers don't care anymore. I mean, the customer is going to go in. They're going to order what they're going to order. Regardless, the server is going to get their commission off of that order and they don't have to worry about messing with you ever again. I mean, we didn't even get drink refills. The servers are supposed to be on the floor watching and taking care of everyone in a greater capacity because they've hired more staff to bring out food and clean tables and stuff like that so the servers don't have to do it. Yet we couldn't even get our drinks refilled. The food service was slow. The delivery service was slow. Trying to get our check was slow. This new service model is a fail in all aspects. So if you are going to Ford's garage, check and make sure before you sit down if they are working under the new service model or not. Restaurant without a service model, good food, good service. Restaurant with the new service model, food and eh, service. No. So anyway, 
I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe, and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.